Hey, here's a little tip. So I wanted to share a little update with our skater guys. I was having trouble getting them positioned into positions that I want. And so I'm using this kind of lightweight hobby wire that you can buy, you know, any hobby store thing. And what I'm doing with it, I stuck it from, I stuck it up his pant leg and I zip stripped it right above the knee. So that allows me to position his legs and the metal will bend and hold them in a position. It also allows me to make him stand upright because they run up under his shirt in the back so that I can straighten him up from his skater position. I'm going to do the same thing to his arms so that I can bend his arms instead of them just hanging out here flopping around. He has joints, but he's floppy. So by putting this metal up under him kind of gives him braces and I can, uh, I can better position him where I want. So I'm going to give that a shot and see how it turns out. So I've exoskeletoned his arms. Let me see. He will now, I believe he'll stand up with a little bit of, I just got to position him. So now he stands on his own. Looks kind of like he's walking. Once I put the uh, sweatshirt, I got these sweatshirts off of the WWE store. Um, the WWE store, they were like two or three bucks uh, plus shipping, pretty cheap. So that sweatshirt goes down over him, is going to hide the wires of his long sleeve shirt. His pants hold the wires of his back. And now he totally stands up. Pretty cool for like five minutes worth of work to turn him into a, a regular dude that I can position for pictures and stuff, which I think is the fun part. I'm going to use him, you know, put him in little positions for diorama stuff. Be pretty sweet.